in this way, denial can be perpetually over justified in the name of religion. It's it's perfect disguise. So we should be careful because we belong to a religious tradition, if you will, to a mystical school. So we can hide so many things in the name of it, not in service of it, but using our the glory of our school to obscure the, the worst possible things. So so again, at, at this point, we need as a community, as a tradition, and again, not only we, every community, every tradition and individuals as well, but we need to comprehensively address this, this, this elephant in the room, if you will. And it's an elephant that the more we deny it, the, the bigger it becomes. It it feeds on the, on our denial. It's so big that we have a whole zoo at one point. You know? It's not only a little, an elephant in the room. Your room, your house is a zoo, and you have a whole herd of elephants, but still you don't see anything. <laughs> so we need more, a more, I don't know, voices shouting loudly that the emperor has no clothes. <laughs> Still is naked, if you will. So the, the system requires upgrading. But again, first we need to acknowledge there is a need for upgrade. And the need, of course, begins at home, homework. It's in us. Because if, in other words, that Jung will say, what you resist persists. No? <laughs> That's how it works. But now it's persisting in a disguised form inside of you. That can turn pretty tricky. If you resist something, it persists in a very obscure way that you are not seeing and that you may be justifying who knows in how many ways having the perfect disguise of religion at, at hand and if many individuals play that game enter into that game of cheating and denial and you multiply put all of them together you can form a whole community around perfect religious ideals but which become even more perfect quote unquote perfect in denying having such perfect religious idea they became even more perfect in denying and hiding layers and layers of I mean unresolved generational trauma, unaddressed collective wounds from the past which has not even even been recognized, what to speak of healing the wounds. You don't even know that you have a womb there. And so on. And all that gross dysfunctionality in the name of divine love perfectly hidden and the whole community is on some level working but on, on a some level hiding all those things because on, on another level we are working and it's working so nicely so there's no need to upgrade so we need to first again acknowledge those things see those things and because unless we see them again they remain they remain there but affecting us invisibly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's our, in other words, our own ego invisibly manipulating us. No? Indeed, indeed, the ego can be, the, by definition, is the sometimes called the unobserved self. No? It's that side of you that you are not looking at, that you are not aware of. 